off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hello! You're catching us midday. We've already gone to Costco. Got all the usual stuff, plus a little extra. I'm gonna try and save mine until game night so I can share some with game night. Cause we keep talking about it, but I keep telling them it's not, they're, just, they're too expensive to share. <laughs> <laughs> but I have um, let him watch a movie. Oh, you let me I watch. let you watch a movie. I, just my well, sacred I... loneliness. I watched a movie. <laughs> Thanks for giving me permission to watch a movie. You're though. welcome. You're welcome. This morning I did clean um, the kitchen um, with a little bit of your help. <laughs> but sometimes the kids need a little extra help, like, you know, deep cleaning the counters, and they don't need extra help learning how to load the dishes by any means, but I did kind of deep clean the kitchen. They don't scrub sometimes. Yeah. They just cover, you know. So he, he mopped for Ashley because her, her hands just aren't very strong. But we are going to tackle the pantry. It's not too bad. It's not bad. It's just things have gotten put away in the wrong place. I actually got oats so we can fill that up. I know, but should I dump out the oats? Yeah, yeah, you can. Because they're old enough. Abby um, loves to make no-bake cookies with those. Um, and we just need to, like, you know, put things away. Or get rid of things. Or, like, this. It's just empty. So, let me show you a before. Got that top shelf. Abby likes these pasta boxes. Um, I don't know how to store them here in the pantry. We store them out in the garage in a pasta bucket, but she just brings in a couple because she likes to eat them quite often. Um, they haven't been eating cereal, so maybe I'm going to kind of empty these out and fill them up with a new round of cereal. We have a lot of cereal. They just haven't been eating it. Um, and then this has just become like a random box like of like bagels or <laughs> cereal. They can't seem and to breakfast drinks. Yeah, they, they can't go back and forth. They just eat one till it's gone. Yeah. Nutella toast until the Nutella is gone. So until they're forced to eat the other one, then they go back to the other. Right. One. So if I fill these up with um, three, four different kinds of cereal and goldfish, we can fill the one up with goldfish. Then maybe they'll eat it um, and change up their breakfast. Um, the snack thing is like out of control. This is probably a lot of garbage. Empty bags that no one wants to deal with. That's kind of noisy behind me. Some people get work done. <laughs> Should have done this when he wasn't home, but I like the extra help. Oh, no. It's oh, it's too full. Oh, dear. Leave that out because maybe Abby will make some tonight and just use up that bag. I'll text her now, see if she wants to make some. Also, look at this cute um, bracelet that Ashley made me. She used my um, brown beads last night and brought it to me and it looks really good with my leather watch band. So that's kind of well, fun. Well, that does look good. Right? Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Now it makes me kind of want to make, go get some other wood beads. What do you want to bet she asks to go to Hobby Lobby again when she gets home from school? Because I she hasn't planned a play date yet. Usually by now they've texted their moms and we've already planned a play date for them and they yeah. haven't yet. She's okay. Um, yes, they probably are over the week from the weekend. So the snack shelf needs a complete overhaul. In fact, some of these things they just don't eat. So I'm going to pull the things that they don't eat out. Um, I might donate them because um, I don't need to eat them all the time. It's nice to grab these when I need like a to-go snack. But um, sorry. Oh, are these bad? They're probably bad. No, you can. But let's put them in like a just like a Ziploc bag so that it stores better. So we're going to go through everything. These, uh, these have turned into like miscellaneous buckets as well, so I don't really actually know what's in them, and that doesn't help anything. And then down here, we kind of just need to straighten it up. So here is a before, and we'll take you along the process. Okay, he brought stockpile from the garage. Ooh, these look so good. I have wanted wanting to eat these. I forgot we had them. Peanut butter checks. I actually want to make some Muddy Buddies with these. Ooh, we should find the chocolate chips. 
we actually need to fill up the chocolate chips from the garage. Um, but I might have Abby make me some, some, uh, we're not gonna, you weren't, whoops. We're not going to use that one to fill up the cereal. We're going to use that one to make dessert out of. So we're going to send Jason back out to the garage. <laughs> oh, we do need that. He was thinking. Go get chocolate chips. Chocolate chips and carrot. I don't, I don't know chocolate chips out there. If you know where that, you can go. In the baking bucket. Yeah, I know. Look, it's good to see them. I know we have them. Okay, good. And then you'll know where to get them. <sighs> I can put these in here. Okay. Yeah, these are really good. I might need to nibble on these while we while we work here. Oh, there's more. But I am gonna look and see if we have chocolate chips like Jason says we don't. So we can't find chocolate chips. I'm kind of tempted to go to Costco and get, get chocolate chips. Um, because I really wanna make these into Muddy Buddies. They're really, really good. Now that I've opened this one, we're gonna snack on these ones and save that one to make Muddy Buddies with. All right, here's our progress. We've got um, noodles here. I was gonna pull out an extra box of noodles and just combine these two, but I don't have any more um, just like plain noodles. I'm lopsided here because I've got this big bucket in here, but that one was too full for all of the oats. So I've just done a backup one up there. And then this one is somewhat organized. This is all the cereals and the goldfish. I'm gonna add baking stuff to this one if we find it down here below. I don't know, should we do the snack one or should we do the, let's do the lower one first. Let's go through these two buckets first mm -hmm. and then we'll go through this, the snack bucket. All right, we found two apple cider vinegar bottles so we're gonna combine those. Do it into the smaller one. I think it'll all fit. This is kind of miscellaneous. We've got some ramen. These are the kinds Jacob likes and this is just one last from the last package we got. I need to, these are just more for on the go ranch dips and I forget that I have these little one serving tuna packets. I should have used these for the last time I made tuna, but that's okay. And then we got like kind of miscellaneous sauces and side stuff in this bucket and then cans on this shelf here, which actually I can probably put some of the beans on that little rotator um, thing, but we discovered a huge mess of crumbs down below. Okay, the mess on the floor is cleaned up. We actually have empty space behind there, which is fine because it's hard to get to. We have these buckets here. I've filled the beans on the rotator. Actually, I can pie. We could actually probably do that with all of these. Nope, that one's not wide enough. And I couldn't get it wider with this little thing. So that's good the way that is. Those two buckets, and now we are left with the dreaded snack shelf. Okay, the big bucket was all stale chips. And now we're gonna go through all of the granola bars and these guys, because, you know, this is, and we also wanna challenge the kids to eat the goldfish from the baggies they've already opened up. All right, so we're gonna go through, I did buy new cow cheese today at Costco. So again, we're gonna challenge the kids to eat the open ones first. These ones I decided I was gonna donate them, but I'm just going to take them and I'm going to use them for oatmeal. Or not oatmeal, a uh, yogurt. They're so crumbly. Um, some of them are sticky too. I'm not really, really sure what got on them. That one's sticky. I'm going to wash it off. And I'm going to use these on yogurt. It has a little bit of chocolate in it. So that will add a little bit of an extra sweetness. I feel like a snack. But then the rest of it is so crumbly that I'll just use it as granola before I open the other granola bars. Or the other actual granola. So... All right, that's pretty satisfying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use these for yogurts, which now I need to get yogurt. I'm not gonna worry about getting it now, but I will crumble these over yogurts. And then we have a few granola bars we just didn't know that were in here. And then we are gonna donate the ones that we don't like. There's raisins in all the purple ones, which my kids don't eat, but it usually comes in like a multi-pack at Costco. And then these like crunchy ones, they don't like as much. So I'm gonna take these to cheer and we'll offer those up as a snack at cheer. And then um, so I'm gonna test these guys to see if they've gone stale. If the package is not sealed up, it's gonna be stale. It's just how things are here. We'll put this snack in here. No, actually I'll put it in here. Um, and then this snack bucket, um, 
Um, I know that these Reese's or these uh, Ritz were just barely opened because we just barely got the box and I just got cheese to go with it. So I'm going to get Abby to eat these two first and then this one and then we'll get more from the garage. This um, bag of chips is fairly new. It's about a week or two old. So we're going to finish that one up. Um, and then as soon as I have gone through using these ones on my yogurt, then I'll go back to doing this. And we have three more bags of these in the garage. And as soon as I open those ones up, I will store that package in here so that it doesn't go bad. If you don't know, here in the Northwest, things just go soggy. That's why, like, when I say this has gone bad, if it's open... Try it? Yeah. Okay, Jason can't I tell... Like I don't like them. Oh, you don't like... But he also can't tell if it's gone bad. Okay, that one's fine. That one's stale. That one's good, so combine those two. Well, I'm gonna go put them in the bucket. Oh yeah, well, it's just the kids won't know. <laughs> if Jason will stop talking, I'll show you the final result of, <laughs> he keeps interrupting me every time I turn this on. So we've got our pasta shelf with our oats, and then we've got good. cereals and like backup baking supplies and all of our protein powders. Um, and then we've got all of our snacks down here, including a big bucket canned goods down there and um, miscellaneous stuff in these two buckets here so i feel like that looks great again we combined all the crackers so they need to eat that one first and then there's a few more graham crackers in here they need to eat first and the ritz crackers to eat first and then we can open up the other things but i'm very happy with how that turned up i'm going to show you my little cook in here first we're going to take the chicken which I just thought out and cut into these beautiful little pieces. We're getting creative. We're trying to learn how to use our air fryer and make better meals. So we've got little diced up chicken, we just defrosted. I'm gonna get in the habit of like having one or two breasts in the fridge. That way it defrosts a little bit better. Um, okay, let's put this in a little bowl. I'm gonna do some garlic salt and some Italian seasoning, some pepper and some salt. We'll mix it all together. So, garlic salt, I can't get them open. Some Italian seasoning, some pepper. Jason's not a huge pepper fan. And some salt, we'll probably do a little bit of salt after too. Probably need a little more salt. So we're just gonna, well, we need oil. oil. Did you get the oil I out? I got the oil out, you just gotta get it. Okay, we're gonna oil. Can I have too much olive oil? Nope. You have to mix that around. Why are you being a schmuck? <laughs> and by the way, I'm sorry for my gut hanging out. Jason likes to get that angle. Shush. Okay, so we've got oil mixed in and now we've got some seasoning. We're gonna sprinkle on. Look at us being all... Crafty. Julia Food, child. Foodie. I know this is like basic. It's super cooking. basic. Okay. And then, I feel like we could do it more Italian seasoning. Kind of coat those a little bit more. We're gonna do that. We're gonna put some more Italian. Oh, that was a little. Oh gosh. <laughs> that was a lot. Oh no. Luckily, Italian seasoning. There's nothing wrong with that. There's there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> not Julia Child. This is why I don't show cooking on my channel. Eh, we're not we're not huge. But foodies. I'm gonna get better at doing this whole chicken thing in the air fryer, and have this so we don't buy the prepackaged. Chicken tenders. Well, it's because we already have tons of chickens sitting in our freezer forever, right. so we need to start like, using it. I need it. to do this more often. It's healthier, a little bit better for you. Okay, so I'm just getting, we're not like making them full on chicken nuggets, but I am going to sprinkle them with some breadcrumbs. Just a little bit, just a little bit. I know, but I got to turn it, so. And then we're going to air fry these. I touch the chicken, that's grossing me out. Do a little bit more. Can't hurt. A dash. A dash. See, this side doesn't have any on there. A dash. Not a pinch, a dash. Oh, that was a sprinkle. That's not right. Right. I did a sprinkle on each one. See, that that's one's a dash. missing some. I think that's a that's dash. That's a dash. Are you happy? Are you, are you satisfied? Okay. Right. It'll do. Follow me over here. And we're going to, like, throw these guys onto our little air fryer. I don't know how long to cook it, so I'm going to have to Google that. We'll have to that. Google that. It has some these. things in here for like wings and it says some things like steak. I don't know if you can read that. It's not focusing. 
there we go fish steak dehydrate so i don't know we'll see jason was giving me a hard time because the rat this right here didn't show the temperature and time on tiktok yes that's where i got my recipe from and literally the first comment or the second comment air fry at 400 for 15 if you didn't see i didn't see it i know you didn't because you, <laughs> you didn't look Temperature. 400 yeah oh whoa, whoa, whoa. there you go okay there you go 415 there you go let's see how they turn out we're also going to normally we don't use pancake mix like this okay. correct i do everything from scratch but i'll use this i'll intermingle it why don't you just like make a big batch of it and get them in the freezer? Someone's home from school. Yeah. I think that's what we should do. Just get them done. We can add protein powder to that. Oh, I will. And then make some for the freezer. That'd yeah, be a good idea. That'd be good. Who came home? Your daughter. Your daughter. Oh, okay. the one and only. Without using the word tired, how is school? Sleepy. No, no, you can't use anything related to being tired. I'm um, not energetic. <laughs> Except you have a lot of floors to climb, so I'm sure you, you had to use energy. All the time. My backpack. I know. I don't know how you guys. So much. And the kids who walk home up that hill. Little, like, I don't understand. Stairs, yes. <laughs> the little boys, they're so small. They're just so scrawny. They don't have like any muscle. <laughs> no, you're actually stronger than them, so they give you smack. Just smack them back. Oh my uh, goodness, face. It would be hard to. They're <laughs> short and can't really run fast. Um, Okay, we got our chicken cooking. I've got some um, cottage cheese and some berries, and then I'm gonna make broccoli up um, to go with that chicken when it's done. Ooh, those look good. Yeah, they cut through it, and it's. Are they crusty on the other side? Or do we? I don't know about crusty. I think they're just cooked all the way through. We could maybe you could put them in like just to kind of get yeah to get a little crunch on the other side. So we gotta flip all of them. Yeah, flip them all. Oh. It's okay. They'll taste better if they're a little crunchy on the other side. They look good on that side, though. Yeah, they look good. Yeah. A little more not so wet. Yeah, it looks good. It looks really good. So we'll try it out. Okay, what do you think? Maybe a bite without sauce on it. What do you think? Mm. Anything you want to add or take away? I'm taking a bite, too. No, I think it's good. Um, we'll experiment with the bread. I think it's good. It's uh, good. Yeah, it's really good. I tried it, too. Pretty good. Yeah. Dad is enjoying his zen. We need to just pop those balloons. I feel bad I've offered them up for free on like two different sites and no one wants them. They're like crazy expensive balloons. I know they are. <laughs> That's why I feel bad. We curled Ashley's hair. I'll put a picture of what it looked like this morning. We should put them in bags up in the garage or pie and then just pull them out. Every for, for Abby. <laughs> Guess what? Here they are again. If we had a way of getting them to the baby shower, we could take them for baby. Yeah, but like them. that's... Just deflate them. I don't have a way of getting them blown back up. Yeah, you, dad, baby. dad's hot. Oh, baby with Abby. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I will put a picture of what her hair looked like this morning. It was obviously a lot more curly, but it still is cute and wavy today. Was I correct on using the little wand? Yeah, I was. Because she's like, use the bigger wand. And I'm like, no, they're going to fall. And it did, but they look cute. I hate um, you. But who's already bored and doesn't have a play, a play date planned? So where are we going? Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby. <laughs> To get more I want some more beads to match like the brown look. I think it's kind of cute. I'm buying hey, them. Mommy. Mommy. And then we're going to run to Target and get the things that we forgot the other day. You got the note? Yeah. We didn't get Fairlife. That's why we went to Target. And we're also going to get chocolate chips so Abby can make the um, Muddy Buddies. Mom Keep mom focused. I'm always focused at Target. She's not like one of those Target moms who needs her Stanley every time she goes. Oh, you're one to talk. You're one to talk. I have not bought myself. Any Stanleys. Let the record be known. I have not bought one. Enjoy your Zen moment. That dinner, that chicken was really good. It was good. I'm gonna go for a run here in a bit. All right. Oh I'm sorry. I, I know, but what did you just say to me? I can't make a bracelet with all of these. The gold you, with beads. just the two sets she got. She can't make an, no. a bracelet with what she just has. No. You have an entire cart full. Yes, I don't have an entire cart full of these. You don't, but you have enough have, like, to match it. You're not gonna make an all gold lace bracelet, are you? I have 10 beads and that won't be enough to make like dot by dot by dot. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm kind of a sucker for the wood beads. Right. 
right now to like add to my little collection. I'm not normally a bracelet wearer, but these ones kind of are intriguing to me. Hey, we've been at it again, huh? Yeah. I made two more bracelets. Um, I had the, the brown one already. The brown. And then I added those other two. They're super cute. And did you make one? No, but I was just organizing. You organized all of these beads. I used your old beads. Okay, close it. I get nervous. I don't want them all over the floor. Dad has picked them up all day today. Okay, put them all away. We're done making them. We measure. I have an eight inch wrist. And there's your, there's your thing. All right, I'm gonna end our day with you guys on a 9-11 note. It's 9-11 today, current day. You know, it's just interesting. The kids come home from school and they have had many assemblies or conversations about 9-11. And it's obviously before their time. So they only have what, you know, things that teachers say to them to, to uh, you know, understand what happened. I mean, we've talked to them about it. Today is kind of significant for Jason and I. I'll just tell you where we were on 9-11 and maybe you guys can leave your comments down below where we where you were and i'll keep this brief we got married on august 24th you guys know we just celebrated our anniversary and the day after our wedding we went to italy on our honeymoon jason's step grandma um it was his second his second grandma she paid for our honeymoon which was super nice of her and we went for two weeks and we went and traveled all through italy ended in venice and then flew home to my home state flew home to utah and then went to my parents house for two days and packed up his truck at the time he had a little chevy truck packed it up with my belongings which was not very much <laughs> it literally just built his one little truck and we drove out the next day and we spent i think two days on the road i think we camped in the car or maybe we had a tent i don't remember we camped along the way and then drove here to seattle um to our first apartment on um september 10th we arrived here in seattle on september 10th september 11th was the day of my final interview with a brokerage firm that I was supposed to go and work for. It was the only reason why I agreed to move to Seattle after we got married, it, you know, because I wanted to make sure I had a job. <laughs> As I had a very secure job at Fidelity Investments in Salt Lake City, um, before we got married and I wanted to I wanted to leave the state I wanted to flee the nest move out of state with my new husband Seattle was fun and exciting and so I got a job um, I was they I had interviewed over the phone a couple times in person a few times I would fly into town so this first day on my on the job was supposed to be my final interview slash accept my salary interview basically it was we just need to meet you in person make sure you've moved here and then we'll hand you the job and you can start working right after that and that was supposed to be on september 11th over in west seattle now if you know anything about west seattle you have to take a bridge to get to west seattle unless you go all the way around and this was before cell phones and well we had cell phones but it was before gps and navigation cell phones and anything of the sort <laughs> Um, so yeah, this is 22 years ago. And when I woke up and turned on the news that morning, I found out about September 11th and all the bridges and such in Seattle were shut down. Um, that was the biggest thing because we didn't know if we were gonna be a threat, if there was gonna be multiple airline crashes all over the country. And so all of our bridges heading into Seattle and including West Seattle Bridge were closed. I didn't know how to get to West Seattle to begin with, let alone, <laughs> having that bridge shut down and I tried to print out the directions that's how you had to do it back then you'd print it out directions and it gave you a step-by-step -step guide with how you got there needless to say um, when I called the job that I wanted to um, go interview and get the job from and told them about me being late because the bridges were all closed they didn't believe me and I told them to turn on the news and find out about it themselves needless to say with all the traffic and confusion about how to get to said job it took me about two hours hours to get there and I couldn't ever figure it out and never actually got there. Um, called them from a phone booth on the side of the road and said I, I don't know how to find it. I'm new to the area and they said don't worry about it due to the downturn in the economy today we aren't going to hire you. So I lost my job. First day. <laughs> living here in Seattle. I had $700 to my name and it was the brokest I had ever been since I started out in college. So that was a really rough six months to a year of me working for temp agencies and starting out marriage. Um, Jason didn't, he had a job, but it wasn't a great job. It was very rough to, to say the least. And Jason and I did not prepare ourselves by waiting for marriage. Like we, we, we tried to prepare ourselves is what I'm trying to say by waiting to get married until after we were done with school. School was paid off. We had career jobs. I did um, at the time and then I quit it. <laughs> 
all with the good intention of having another career job moving here. It just happened to be the downside to that day. And it was scary because I was on my own um, navigating the city and Jason was at work. So we just kind of started our marriage off a little rough. <laughs> <laughs> that way and that's what we were doing on September 11th. We will always remember it. It was, you know, something that did ultimately bring us closer together. Can you stop that, <laughs> please? You're gonna spill those all over the floor. Stop, they're gonna spill. We've been vacuuming those beads up all day. So anyway, where were you guys on September 11th? I pray that you guys don't know anyone personally um, that passed away from that perfect day. You know, I didn't wanna like leave the day with, <laughs> I swear. Ashley, can you stop? No. Stop. Just take the beads over there and use them out of your container. No, you don't get it. Oh my gosh. They're, they're, she's obsessed. All right, well, we're gonna, I'm gonna end this with you guys. I just don't wanna leave the day without you guys knowing that I was thinking of it today. Just didn't wanna make it a huge topic of conversation, but you know, it's a. it was a somber day for us, as I'm sure it was for so many of you all over the world. So I'm gonna try and get this one to bed anytime soon. That's just, oh, that's your Sprite. So take care and we will see you guys next time.